Hello everyone, my name's King, and today we are building a blacksmith. It's actually nice and simple. It's actually, it kind of actually uses a similar design to uh, my village house tutorial all the way at the beginning of my tutorial series. It's all the way down there. Also kind of like those houses, but it's even further down. Anyway, um, yeah, it's actually pretty simple. Not a lot of materials required, unless you are to decorate it. All it really needs is stone, maybe smooth stone if you want a texture variant like that. Um, some andesite, which in my texture pack is darker, but if you don't have it darker you could also just use a uh, polished andesite which has that like bigger brick texture or you could make out brick the only thing is it has to be a different uh, block than this otherwise it'll blend in and that's not what it's supposed to do it's the furnace after all so it has to be big and noticeable um, we also use birch planks as opposed to the uh, stripped birch just because it's a slight difference and it makes this house stand out amongst all the others um, we use oak stairs for support just again because it stands out a bit and is a bit different we are then using uh, spruce stairs and oak stairs for the roof which is a bit different than some other designs. It's just like small variations of roof and stuff. You can make it out of different materials as long as, you know, it's similar design. And then I'm using a birch door, which is kind of obvious. And then spruce trap door for the shutters. I'm also going to be using red and orange panes because it's kind of like fire, I guess. It's kind of aesthetically linked. And then the rest of these you don't really need. They are mainly for decoration purposes, actually. So a blast furnace, a smithing table, anvil, a grindstone. These are all kind of blacksmithy items. You know, this is like the Minecraft equivalent of what you would need for blacksmithing, even though it does nothing right now. I'm spamming right now, it's not doing anything. Blast furnace, you could use a regular furnace if you want, but you know, it's just uh, the whole uh, thing of sm smithing and stuff. So you open up that little hatch, put the sword in to heat it up, then put it on top of the anvil to mash it. So that's what that is. And a grindstone, of course, to sharpen the tools kind of thing. So like maintenance and creation, blacksmithy stuff, and throw it in there. These last two I am I just threw in because it's like my go-to for um, decorating stuff. This is actually birch uh, leaves, but using Jermsey Boy's uh, better leaves add-on, they can actually be red or orangish, which also kind of ties into the whole blacksmithy thing. So I have those overgrown. And then I have hay, because hay is uh, very useful. This is actually snow, by the way. In Jermsey, uh, Jermsey Boy's texture pack, they look like hay, if you do not know. And I just really like how that turned out. And going all the way around. And yeah, so I'm gonna show off this place real quick and then we'll get right into building. So, right here, this is where all the magic happens. This is where you do stuff. This is where they do the whole smithy things. So it's just really simple. You could probably decorate it a bit differently if you want. I just have some rocks on the ground. Probably should have thrown in some gravel and stuff. I then have the grindstone on the side of this just because I don't know it looked like something I guess so you would grind it here or put it on here to work with or put it on here to hammer it into shape then you have the blast furnace 
to put it in and stuff. And to deck, just an example of what you could do for an interior. And when I'm going to be building in the tutorial, I'm not doing much of an interior, it's just going to be the outside and this and that'll be it. But here's an example of what you could do. So coming on in here, we have a bunch of crates and barrels and crafting tables and chests around, just thrown around, some stuffed under this uh, stairway. And then I have a nice simple stone countertop with a way, a, a way in and out. And then I have a simple shelving with some tools hanging from it. One's here, probably getting ready to sell. Some more uh, storage. And then I have some lanterns just randomly thrown about. Like, it's barely enough to light it and that's all he really cares about. He doesn't care about making it pretty, whoever lives here. And then up here, I have not done anything because I forgot. And also, um, this would probably be pretty simple. It's just like put a guard rail, throw some storage, have a bed, and that's that. Um, yeah. But the main focus is out here where it's actually being worked on. The house itself is just there to make sure it's ha the blacksmith has a place to sell the weapons and sleep or store stuff, whatever you're into. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna grab the pallet and we'll get right into building right about now. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to start at this far corner and so you place down the first block. Good job, that's where everything's gonna be based off of now. Then you go this way, uh, one, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven blocks wide. Then from here, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it'd be a seven by seven square. But then you actually go out one and over one and do five. One, two, three, four, five. Now this is also seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this would also be five. But in the middle of that five, I'm going to leave open gap where the door would be. Now here, it's also seven, so it just connects up like that. It has the nice diagonal thing that I really like to do with houses. It just gives a nice little characteristic to it, like it's at a slight angle. Now for the courtyard here, I'm going to go from this back wall that was five, skip a block, and then place one, skip, place, skip, place, skip, place. So there's going to be four blocks with a gap in between all of them. Same this way, it's four blocks with a gap in between all of them. And then from here, just going here, skip a block and place a block. This is eventually going to be the way in with a small wall around it. Now, I... I think I'm just going to raise it all up. Uh, the main wall is raised one, two, three, four, uh, four blocks, and then we can do the interesting bit later. So I'm going to do that real quick, and we'll be right back to put in the peaky bits and then get ready to put the foundation for the next floor right about now. Okay, so I just went all the way around, and actually on this, I'll um, bring it up as well. So these only go two up, and that's because it's like a small retaining wall. It's not actually supposed to be an actual uh, extremely tall wall, sort of like those walls you could probably like, I, if you've seen it in, like, old cities or whatever, there's usually, like, a small wall, either, like, a retaining wall, like, there's earth on the other side, or it's just a small wall that's a divider, and usually you can, like, climb over it and stuff, and it's, like, fun. Uh, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, that's kind of what that is. It's like a fence, but made of stone. And I also went ahead and threw in tiny bits of smooth stone in there. Not a lot. It's just in there every now and then to add a bit of texture and like a feel of like a degrading wall like it's an old place kind of now i'm going to do this real quick before we get to the pointy bits on on this uh all that's left here is to just throw in some walls like so all the way up and with a little taste of germ um the walls actually get this like full block type effect where it's not a full block all the way around but it doesn't ha uh, it i forgot what i was gonna say it doesn't have the um weird pull in the middle that the item does or that it usually does which actually looks really good but even without that, it should look pretty good as far as, like, a wall is concerned. Like, the full block would be more of a post, and then there's these. In fact, you could probably just go like that, and it'll be fine. But I'm gonna keep it like that because, uh, I don't know. I feel like it. Now, getting on to the roof. The way you do the roof is on this side, you go up one in one and up one like so like a pyramid and it's very intentional that we are going one higher than the wall for this it's like a i'm not sure what you call it it's kind of like a support foundation for the wooden bits and i actually subconsciously started to do it but we are going to be putting walls on top of all of this like so it kind of gives it the a kind of gradient look and it actually in my opinion looked better before Jermsey boy had the whole full wall thing because then it had kind of like a spike effect which was cool it still looks pretty good though again we are going to do on this side too just a sort of pyramid fashion making sure it's one higher than the rest of the wall I'm actually going to throw in some uh, stone as well, just to uh, add a bit of variation and interest to the wall. And again, you put the cobblestone walls on top, like so. And that's that for that part. Oh, almost forgot. Gotta throw in that, and then gotta go grab a door and throw that in there now I'm also going to uh, throw in a bit of texture variation for this nothing major just sort of around some of it is going to be this some of it's going to be that and then some of it actually is the andesite, just to give a bit of difference. Or it could be whatever uh, block you have as your uh, chimney, fireplace thing, glass furnace, whatever it's called. And I almost forgot, but we actually put the walls there as well, because this has to be three block, not five block. If it's five blocks, then it looks too big, but if it's like one block, like this that feels too cramped for a flexman because they're gonna have to wheel stuff in there or bring in big objects probably i don't know how smelting works but uh yeah so next up is the base or the walls of the second floor which are pretty easy they go like so first you take your oak stair and then one in you place one there 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 then place one in the middle so you just have to make sure it's not on outsides and go in on this side and on that side it's okay if there's two blocks there nobody will notice 
Um, unless you just now noticed, because I said that. And then you just replicate from the other side. Like so. That way they're all lined up nice and simple. Now, you take the birch, and then I guess I'll do it on this side first. Place it on the stair, and then just follow the outline of the cobblestone, making sure it's one out from the cobblestone. So it's not like this, because there's that clashing texture, and I personally do not like that. So on the stair, following it, until it gets to this point where it's about to clash with the stone, in which case you go on the stair and follow it on the other side. Now I'm actually going to uh, connect both ends as well from the inside here, and this actually is probably a bigger square, or legitimately just a square, which is uh, not ideal, but it should be fine. Now, we are also going to be going up five, so one, two, three, four, five, like so. And then I'm going to fill it in, and then also on these bits, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, and then just so I can show you where we're going with this, I'm gonna have to fill this in. There we go. Also on these bits, we are going to go in one and up one. So it's like what we did for this, but it's going to be in line with the wall, like so. You know, regular roof design. So I'm going to replicate that on the other side and fill everything in. And then we'll be right back again for the roof. And then we'll do the chimney. And then we'll be done, Except, aside from decorations which I'll also do off-camera, probably. Anyway, I'm gonna put this in, then we can get on to the roof. And there we have it. The walls are all in. Now to do the roof. So on the roof, first off, let's do this bit. So where there is the topmost block, you're going to put an upside down stair up until you get to the middle. The middle, actually, now that I think about it, get rid of those top blocks and instead put an upside down stair uh, as if it, it was still there, like that. We're getting rid of this because we are actually going to be putting, uh, I do believe, Oh, ha ha ha, I'm smart. Nope, you leave them there. And then just put an upside down stair on top of the, those. My bad, these roof designs can get quite tricky. Sometimes you leave them there, sometimes you get rid of them because they're in the way. So, once again, I'm going to show on this side, on the topmost blocks, you put an upside down stair except for the middle, which has an upside down stair facing out like that. Just go all the way down, if I can place things correctly. There, there, and there. And then of course you put a right side up stair here, and then on top of all of them, except this middle one again, which actually has an ups right side up stair facing out like that. So it gives it that kind of uh, Norse thing, kind of, but not really. Which is quite cool, in my opinion. Again, you just place right side up stairs all the way around. Like a typical A-frame, making sure that it's actually like connected and smoothed out with one right there, facing that way. Now, to connect this up, we are going to just be placing them all along the side, except when it comes to this angle bit. Here, 
we rotate it like that so it covers the block. In my opinion, that looks best. You could also throw one in there to connect it all the way, which also looks not bad. But honestly, this is probably as much as you need to do. Plus, it saves on materials. Same thing on the other side, just all the way down. But where it's at the diagonal, you rotate the block to cover the birch block, or birch plank. Now it's a simple matter of just filling these in, while also rotating uh, where it was rotated. Basically, you just copy this, but in oak stairs going all the way up. And in fact, this is a small thing I'm going to do, just because it makes it easier on my part, but we are, we, uh, or rather I, am going to place, or fill in all of these, which you can get rid of later, but it's just going to be a nice and simple, um, temporary block, or permanent block, for placing the stairs on top of. I'm going to do it all the way like so. And that's kind of like a mini roof, I guess, to put the stairs on top of. So I'm going to do that, leave this top portion, because I'll do that with you guys to explain it. I'm also going to throw in some decorations around. So I'm going to do that real quick, probably clean my inventory as well, and then we'll get ready to finish up this bit, put in the furnace, and we'll be done. Okay, now then. Uh, to do this top bit, hold on, guy grabs spruce again. We basically just copy this and keep placing it until we get to di the diagonal. Then do the same on this side, keep placing it until we get to the diagonal, and then leave it like so. I do believe that's what I did. No, I did the other way. Oh well. Uh, either way works. You could e either copy this and keep it all the way down. Or, as I did here, rotate it and place it the opposite direction until you get to the thing. The only difference is if you rotate it, you get this, which is kind of like a nice little point to connect it. While here, you get a wider separation. Either way works, in my opinion. Now, before we get to the chimney, I forgot to throw in some windows. So in order to do that, go two blocks up from the bottom. And yes, that means it'll be connected to the roof, but this bottommost layer is actually where the floor is. And that's simply because there is this, which I guess it's kind of hard to see because it's dark. Uh, here's a better. Uh, if we were to not put the floor in there, the floor would have to be made out of cobble because you will see the uh, the walls of the first floor. So instead, I'm going to be building it two blocks up and place it there. Now, it doesn't quite matter where you place the windows, they can be wherever you feel like it. So I'm gonna just throw in a couple, say, here, and then on this side, do it the other way around, like that, and then say one. Uh, yeah, there. That'll be fine. Now, it also doesn't quite matter what you use for the windows, but I'm going to put the darker color on the bottom, which in this case is red. Try not to misclick. And then I'm going to put orange on top, because it's the lighter color. And I'm not sure why, I just like having darker colors on the bottom and lighter colors on the top. Or having some kind of consistency between all the windows. Now I'm going to put spruce trap doors next to 
the windows. Make sure it's not on both sides of the windows, but it's only one on one side of the window. If there are two windows, it's okay to have one like this. If you want, you could also put it like that. It doesn't quite matter. What these are supposed to symbolize are like shutters. So they would close on top of the window in like stormy weather, or if it's like some kind of emergency or something. Now doing it on the other side, I'm going to put them over here and then this one over here just because I don't like having them right next to the wall like that. It doesn't really look bad, it's just a personal preference. Now then, I also threw some leaves around. You could do that willy-nilly. There's no real um, science behind it. And I also threw a single anvil because I ran out of inventory space to throw in everything. But that's fine. It's also whatever you feel like. You could have a single anvil. You could have 10 billion anvils. You could have a, a box. It, you know, whatever su uh, floats your boat, to be honest. Now then, to get to this, the main centerpiece of a blacksmith, the furnace. So it's going to be like that. Just go in from the thing and it's like three blocks you'll place that 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 and that and there you go the blast furnace no i'm kidding there's more to it there's the chimney but as far as the furnace part itself is concerned that's all you really need to do if you want you can make it smaller and do something like that which looks weird and funky or you could even mix match it like that and make it all weird but that should be perfectly fine in my book now when you get to here and get to the chimney this is where the fun begins because you have to make some short uh, or sort of organic shape that blends in well with the foundations and also hugs the wall so I, I think I'll go with that to be honest maybe actually get rid of that block to make it more curved and then of course don't worry about the roof you could just replace it where the roof is make it at least one block taller put some walls on top as like the chimney even some flower pots on top if you feel like it. And then I'm going to take some stairs just to curve it out a bit. Organics isn't really my strong suit and it may not be yours either, but you really just have to uh, tweak with it, do whatever looks good in your book. And there, that's the chimney. And with that, we are done. You could also throw in some more details like this or some crates or even like some more texture variation like mossy cobble or some slight or the stripped birch logs along with this. You could do different uh, roof designs. There's a lot more you could do to this to make it your own. But as far as the tutorials can, uh, the, the, as far as the tutorial is concerned, this is perfectly fine. This is all I really think you need to do for a blacksmith. And thus, I am pushing way past the outro. Anyway, I have been King. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you liked it, subscribe. Uh, some other plugs. Uh, yeah. Goodbye.